Yes, people, welcome to the video. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're well from wherever you're watching. If it's your first time watching today, please subscribe. I've got lots more content coming, tutorials to cookups, showing you what I'm working on. And sometimes I might drop the odd freestyle here and there for you. Today, I'm going to show you how you link your MIDI controller. I know a lot of people have some issues linking the controller, setting the faders, using the drum pads but we're going to be covering all of that today so let's get right to it we're in fl studio right now and first things first what you'll want to do is connect your midi controller via usb you might need to download some drivers uh, from the manufacturer's website but if you don't see any downloads necessary then it should be just plug and play with windows so once you've plugged in your driver if you click the options menu go to midi settings and you'll be presented with this window here. I've got an Akai MPK88 and that's popped up there. This will be disabled or and your own model will be displayed here. So click the input for whichever one you're using and select enable. You then want to click on the output here and send master sync. That's it. That's all you need to do to get this to work. So when I press a key, there you go. You should see it come through. So the next step that we want to look at linking the controller to your mixer, for example. So if we maximize this, you may want to set these faders here. My MIDI controller has faders and the knobs on there. On this model, you've got three banks. So you've got A, B and C. So I can link up eight times three banks. Very simple. All you do is right click on the fader, link to controller, and then slide and now you can see that is moving with the fader exactly the same as if we want to use the panning knob right click on there and link to controller give that a turn and it's now picked it up and you can repeat this process all the way through now this doesn't just work with your mixer on on here you can literally link anything to a controller so we'll move to slot one we'll move this and that's now being changed there you can link you're panning here if you want to and that's picked it up now there as i say you can link anything so if you right click on any value these level adjustments you can with the shift and swing time functions and you can also do that with certain vsts as well it doesn't have to be one of the knobs you can use a fader you can also then use the modulation on here so that's how you link your faders and knobs to the different settings now a lot of people who have this model the akai mpk series have issues linking the fpc so if we load up the fpc and tap any of the drums see they're not working or sometimes they're in the wrong position so the way we do this if you click this down arrow here select map notes for entire bank what you want to do is start from this corner here and work your way across and then to this row work your way across the next row work your way across and then the final row so i'm just going to do that now and you see it's picking up the right sounds now once you've done that they all work with the corresponding sound selected once you load the fpc again i'll just show you now we'll delete the fpc there they're no longer mapped so we'll just quickly map those again and there you go they're mapped now the way you save this select this drop down menu here go to save note layout you would give it a name it's save on there and I'll just show you, we'll remove this and load it back up again. See that's not working. If we click this again and go to layouts, you'll see your layouts are in this menu here. You can load the layout if it's saved in a different location, but if you save to the default location, it will be listed here. So we'll go to new layout and it's there. Now, another thing that's on this menu, I'll show you if you switch the drum kit on here. It's not loaded again. 
So you can go to this drop down menu, go to load layout, and select the drum pad. Now what this feature also has in here is if we go to layouts, you can select use current layout when changing presets. So that will store it. So if we move to a different one, let's just make sure that works. We move to a different kit. And that's working for you again. And what I like to do, start with an empty one, map the sounds to it. They're already there. And then you can load all your sounds in, set your faders, and then create a template. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If it helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bless.